work, you created a kind of acoustic environment mm -hmm. that's quite cohesive, yet, of course, changing and developed in mm -hmm. each of the pieces. Could you just speak a bit about... Well, the, uh, the, the, the most elaborate uh, soundtrack is the second one with the, the um, Micronesia story. And this this was a work in itself, actually, that I did for the radio. It was a very long, long work. I mentioned it in the class. It's it was a, originally it was a commission thing from, for for the radio. A very good idea, actually. They thought that since you know, in France, we have public commissioned art from time to time, and uh, they decided that the radio was public space, so that you know, a commissioning work for public space could include radio. And they hadn't never done it before, so they, they asked me if I could do, uh, I don't know what it was, uh, uh, 45 minutes of exactly what I wanted. There was no requirement. So I love to work on that, and I discovered all, all kinds of aspects of sound working with that, that it's working with uh, um, uh, um, Foley's specialist mm -hmm. that at the time, uh, doing these, these noises and sampling from all kinds of music. I sampled my whole, you know, vinyl collection, you know, for everything I liked, so I had this huge bank of sound, and then I played with the mix, I learned to, to use the Pro Tools and all these kinds of stuff. So, I, virtually, it's infinite, you know, how much you can put on a mix. Uh, what I did is basically music, musical transitions, and little s musical cells out of two or three <laughs> different samples, generally, and and a mixing of the of the noises and uh, deformation of the voice, and editing, you know, uh, montage, you know, doing all the sewing of it. But I I didn't have a precise idea before I started on what kind of environment it would be, but. Certainly, it would it would have it would have to be, uh, I thought, unnaturalistic but still illustrative, in a way. You see, like like association of certain Im sound images that are cliché stereotypes, then displacing a little the stereotypes to make it different but still extremely artificial. That that was the the idea. It's all this is use of artificial, so it's hopefully not opposed to natural. No, no, but so that you hear, yeah, yeah. you hear that it's not a natural but it sound. Is, it, it is a good point here, uh, also to say, usually for a philosophical text, also you can ask, what's the point? Yeah. There are some philosopher who resists this, but say, what's the point? For the art yeah. work, that's not really the point no, for us. No, no, it's not a point really. But it's the same thing as using Jules Verne. It's, it's taking things that are... Um, <coughs> Overdetermined culturally, you know, very familiar, especially in France, as Jules Verne thing. And, and but at the same time, you can cut little pieces of it and do like building a new toy, you know, out of old pieces. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know the, what the meaning, what the meaning of the toy is, finally. But I like the idea that that you can use this material in a completely different way. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. Let's not uh, call it deconstruction. <laughs> Christina? Um, I was wondering, so you say that a lot of kind of the images you use are pre-existing, right? And then you kind of go into, I don't know, the editing room or wherever you do this work. Um, yeah. So do you kind of let the images or the text determine how you put them together, right? Like, which is kind of like, I had mentioned in class this idea of kind of like formal experimentation mm -hmm. and this idea of chance um, kind of occurrences or chance yes, yes, of, um, yes. whatever. So uh -huh. which do you think of as kind of more rigid in terms of formal which, which do you kind of like, are, are you yeah. even like planning in advance, you know, like do you think more of the audience reception side or are you thinking more of no. kind of like poetic, you know? Yeah, <laughs> no, I never think of the audience, I must confess. I, no, I only try to find my own pleasure, you know, in contemplating these things. And so I, I there are no principles, no rules, but I guess the, the, the I try to have 
with the image track uh, uh, visual coherency, you know, in the the in the the sequence, each sequence and and the way the sequence go from one to the other, then I I the text will have its coherency from the start because in this case you know the very formal decisions and uh, you know where it's going. So the, the main thing is probably the autonomy in a way, the autonomy of each of each uh, track. And then you see how it can go together or not. And if it can't, then you can do more editing. But from the start you have, you know, solid, uh, kind of solid, uh, decided form. It's usually like that. Like I, I can have a, mu a silent film for maybe 30 minutes and then I, 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 I realize I can take a piece of it that it will still work and it will work with some text or some music but generally it's... Um, so are you like saving them separately? Like you're like, oh I, I really like this image so mm, I'm going to save it for later use? Or? No, not really because I'm always working on several things at the same time so I'm influenced in one by the other but unconsciously I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of, you know I have to. Do, I want to do this, so this could be useful. Why I'm doing it, but <coughs> it's not a method. There's really no method, really. Sometimes one precedes the other, but it can be the other way around. Okay, Matthias, his voice becomes slower and slower. But last question, Matthias. <laughs> do you also uh, things without language? Language seems to be really kind of yeah. central element in your. In your yes. Work. Yes. I tried, but I never eliminated completely uh, words. There are always a few words. I did one film that is really almost oh, without words, but still, from time to time, you have a little sentence, and then you have a text that is not in the film, but that follows the film and that's published as, as poetry. So the text is always there, really. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's difficult, but that's why it's, we should do it, you know?